Hey there Pokemon fans, Readers here with another deck review video. In this video we are going to take a look at the X and Y basic blue for the for this week and the next two weeks. We are gonna uh, look again for the basic X and Y basic decks because they changed because they were way too powerful, especially the basic blue deck. So I'm going to deck review them, play test and hit the tournaments again to see if they still have their power. By the way, I'm going to start with the basic blue because this is the one that changed the most. This was the, the best deck out there. Uh, it literally dominated the versus, re the versus mode and the tournaments in the theme deck category and uh, it needed to be nerfed but I think that they kind of destroyed it right now. Uh, they didn't, but it's not so good as it were, of course. That was the point of the nerf. But anyways, we have two Panpours evolving to Simipur, and that was that's basically no change. It was like that before. Simipur is an awesome Pokemon uh, with uh, the recycle ability. Put a, a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. So you can basically bring any single card that you just used or any Pokemon that got knocked out. Uh, you can bring it back with this awesome Simipur. A very nice card. It is a rare card. So it's probably the featured card of the deck because it is two copies. Any card with two copies is usually the featured card. Uh, we have an Articuno and this is the Find Ice Articuno which helps, really helps to bring all the energy from our deck to our hands and that's very powerful not only for the fact that we have energy and we can pump our Pokemon with energy and especially maybe Articuno as well so it guarantees that it will find the necessary energy for himself to attack but also it thins the deck which means that we have less chance to draw energy and to actually draw the cards that we need the Pokemon that we need, the trainers that we need and all that stuff 100 damage for 4 energy is not good but especially in this case it's good enough because we have the chance to find the energy so yeah, it's easy to read that. We just need four turns. That's the only bad thing about that. Uh, don't expect a double colorless energy. You are never gonna get it in this deck. But there is a muscle band in the deck which really helps this Articuno to deal 120 damage, which is usually the range of the rare cards. Usually, not always, but so many cards, so many rare Pokemon are at 120 HP. So the muscle band really helps. The resistance to the fighting type is amazing because the Dark Hammer deck, the Pangoro Machamp deck is so popular right now and these uh, resistance really really helps. helps. The weakness is not so uh, bad because there are not so many metal types in the theme deck category. Um, so that's, that's the Articuno. We have three Magikarp and that's quite of a bad Pokemon but you know Magikarp will become a Gyarados someday and there is the Gyarados, an awesome artwork, as you can see. Uh, it's going against the flow of the water, that's fantastic. And we have a 138p Pokemon, that's good, because so many Pokemon hit for 100 or 120, as I said before. It has the Berserker Splash, 80 damage for 3 energy. This attack does 10 damage to its bent Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. Don't apply weakness and resistance. Um, and that's not so bad for you because we have the rough seas which we are gonna see later so a good Pokemon there Agua Tail 90 damage plus flip a coin for its water type attached to this Pokemon and you are gonna have only water type in this theme deck and this attack does 30 more damage for its heads so if we take the chances uh, we have 50% chance for every coin flip to flip heads so we uh, Statistics say says that we're gonna flip at least two heads. It, we are we have a huge chance of flipping at least two heads uh, with this guy right here. And two heads is 150 damage, way too much to knock out almost almost every single uh, Pokemon in the theme deck category. So Gyarados is basically. Uh, a win card. When we play Gyarados, we will probably probably win the match. The very bad thing is that Magikarp has only 30 HP. It, it can be knocked out by a Pokemon that snipe the bench. Maybe a Greninja or a uh, Hitmonlee. 
A Pokemon like that can literally snipe this Magikarp, hit him for 30 damage and knock him out before even evolving to a Gyarados. But so many times we have two Magikarps in the bench, one dies, the other one evolves and that's fantastic. Uh, we are gonna reach 4 energy, it's not so hard to get 4 energy in this uh, deck and sometimes we are gonna put extra energy just to increase our coin flips and to increase our chances of getting heads. So Gyarados is basically the best card in my opinion in this deck and most of the cases when we play Gyarados we just win, right there. It's similar to the Chestnut in the uh, basic green, when we play Chestnut we probably already won. And especially with the rough seas, we protect our Gyarados way, way, way too, too uh, good. We have a good protection for our Gyarados. Next, we have three Sphil evolving to uh, two Cilios, and Cilio has the freezing headbutt, 30 damage, and a chance for paralyzation. Aurora Beam, 50 damage with three energy, and that's not so bad because it worth investing energy in Cilio because it evolves to Wall Rain and 150 HP Pokemon. That's a lot of HP, uh, 50 damage with 2 energy, you may discard any stadium card in play, so most of the times you're not gonna face any other stadium cards, but if you do, you have the chance to discard it with Wall Rain, and also you, can, you, you choose if you want to discard the stadium card or not. So if you have the Rafsis, you don't have to discard the Rafsis. Frozen Splash with 4 energy, 70 damage, plus if your opponent's active Pokemon is a fighting type Pokemon, this attack does 70 more damage, so that's 140 damage, that's a very very good answer to the Dark Hammer deck, the Pangoro deck, and the Pangoro deck is probably one of the best ones, so this Wall Rain is a very very good counter to the Pangoro, I like this card so much, let's move on. We have one Corsola, Corsola is not such a bad Pokemon, but it is... D depending on purely on luck with a spinning rust 20 damage flip a coin until you get a head now you get tail until you get tails this attack does 20 more damage for its head so you can maybe deal a lot of damage but you cannot rely on this Corsola uh, next we have the last Pokemon line four Frokies that's way too many I would not I don't want so many Frokies but that's fine 60 HP uh, pound and Water Drip, okay, F evolving to Frog Guardian uh, with the Leak ability, 30 damage and the chance of paralyzation, back to uh, 1 energy attack with Greninja, 50 damage, this attack attacks damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance or any other effect of your, Pokemon's, of your opponent's active Pokemon, so you, you hit for 50 damage no matter what, no matter what, uh, even if it's a fire type Pokemon, you are still gonna hit for 50, not 100, so keep that in mind. And the Water Surgeon, of course, has the ability to snipe Pokemon, hit them for 30 damage with uh, the with discarding a Water type energy. A very nice card. It is so powerful in most cases. Uh, so that's awesome. So what's the basically what's the change? They removed the two Laprases, which uh, literally destroyed this deck. They removed the two Laprases and added those two Magikarps and they also removed the Articuno, the Ancient Trait Articuno. And uh, what else did they remove? I don't know. So they probably removed one more card. Maybe some trainer? We will see. So let's just take a look at the trainer cards. We have ro one Roller Skates to... Um, Try to draw extra cards. One acro, two acrobikes. Look at the top two cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Discard the other one. Two dive balls to bring our uh, Greninja line, our uh, Gyarados. Many times that's a good use for the dive ball and maybe a Wall Rain or a Cilio. Who knows? We have one Team Flare Grant. So the infinite combo with the uh, Simipur and the Team Flare Grant is still here. You just Team Flare Grant your opponent's energy and you discard the energy and you bring Team Flare Grant back to your top of your library with Simipur, draw the Team Flare Grant and repeat the process. You just, you are going to win in that fashion, especially if you have Greninja to hit for 30 damage with your Shuriking, Water Shuriking ability. So the infinite combo with Team Flare Grant and uh, Simipur is still here. Uh, we have two Sonas, 
to uh, shuffle our hand into our deck and draw five cards, two Pokemon fan clubs to bring our basic Pokemon, two battle reporters to draw as many cards as our opponent has in hand, and one Rafsis. I believe it was two Rafsis. I cannot clearly remember, but now we do have one. So I, I believe that we had two. I'm not sure, but I think that we have we had two Rafsis. We did have two Muscle Bands, so that's still here. One uh, XP share. I think that this was also here. I'm not sure. And one Weakness Policy, which was indeed here. So this is good for against um, Grass types. So this makes uh, Greninja powerful against Grass types. Uh, grass type is a very powerful. A deck in the X and Y basic green in the theme deck category, and we have 19 just blue uh, water type energy, no other energy. Basically, the changes were not so many. We just had uh, three Magikarps and one Gyarados instead of two Laprases, one um, um, one Articuno Encentrate, and I don't know what else they changed. It doesn't look like they changed anything else. So maybe they changed the trainers a little bit. They, re they removed one Rafsis. I believe that's the change. The one Rafsis right here. I may be wrong, but that's what I think. I think that it was two Rafsis. But anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this deck review. I'm going to hit the uh, playtest and the tournaments are uh, now and I really hope that you're gonna enjoy those videos as well it is still a very very powerful deck it it, it didn't lose all of his of its power this Gyarados is very powerful very very powerful but the Lapras was extremely powerful powerful and the um, the Articuno was powerful as well. So now it's more, it's still powerful, maybe still the best, maybe still the best, but more balanced. And that's what really matters. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to tell me your opinion about this deck in the comments below. I know that so many people talk about this deck. And um, I hope that I'm gonna see you in the other videos. Until then, take good care of yourself, be safe, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you. Bye, my friends. See ya.